Hey guys, it is yet another Monday in a series of Mondays that it's our life. Um, <coughs> I don't know if it's the cold or the fact that the kids are gone, but man, I'm having an emotional morning. Uh, it, I realized um, our corporate calendar is really weird. So as of last Thursday, it's officially November. And so your challenge for the week is to go back to uh, your vision board from January, your list of things that you wanted to do for the year that you wrote out in January or February, whenever it is that you wrote it out, even if it was last December, whenever you started working on your goals and stuff for the year, I want you to go back and look at all of them. How many have you accomplished? How many did you miss out on? How many did you purposefully set aside in order to give more time and attention and focus to other things that were more important to you at the time. Um, and I want you to see how you feel about that. You know, were you were you big dreaming in January and you just wrote a list of a hundred things and maybe you only got ten of them done? Were you supremely focused on one or two goals and maybe you haven't quite finished accomplishing them yet, but you're on your way? Um, so I want you to see where you stand because I, I can't even believe it, but yeah, it's November. You know, tomorrow is Halloween, but <laughs> from a perspective of pretty much everyone that celebrated Halloween last weekend, it's November. Um, now, given obviously the mojo is still in the air uh, to honor your dead and honor your ancestors, and appreciate that the wheel continues to turn um, as far as life goes on and the leaves are finally starting to change colors around here instead of just falling off. Uh, so it's it's definitely almost winter. I, I am not a fan of winter, so I'm not looking forward to snow and cold. It's miserable. But how far have you come? And I looked at mine, I looked at my, I was staring at my vision board because I have it in my bedroom. So I see it every single day. I was looking at my board and I didn't get to travel as much as I wanted to this year. I knew that that was clearly not really an option with the kids being as young as they are. So I, I'm okay with that. Um, I wish that I would have the opportunity to do so. I'm going to, I'm going to continue to put it on every vision board or, or wish list for the year, goal list for the year, whatever you want to call it. Um, until I get more done, uh, the one thing we didn't get to do is we didn't get to do the big garden plot at the farm this year. We simply, we just didn't have the time. We did the small stuff at the house. Um, a lot of it literally got eaten by our bugs. <laughs> so we didn't have a harvest. We had a small harvest of our tomato plant, which was awesome, except that none of us eat tomatoes except for my mom, which is kind of funny, but whatever. Um, our herb bushes did really, really well. The dogs enjoyed the fresh basil. Um, unfortunately, the pots that I had gotten didn't have good drainage holes. So uh, a lot of them got swamped in the tremendous rainstorms that we got and just weren't recoverable. So that's what happened to a lot of our plants. Even though I replanted a bunch of times, just kept getting swamped. So, uh, you know, there's a lesson in that. When we do our garden, plots next year I'm gonna make sure you know I dip out all the dirt drain new holes at the bottom make sure there's a big bed of stone so that it's able to drain well in case we have bad storms again next year as long as you've learned a lesson that's and that's the point there were a lot of things that I did accomplish this year that I'm really proud of <coughs> and a lot of things that I'm in the process of accomplishing especially when it comes to my goals with my job and everything else that um, I'm really looking forward to as far as my career goes. Uh, I'm really excited to be in a place where I'm, I'm helping people and I'm passionate and I feel needed and wanted and appreciated for everything that I do. And being able to see that is a huge thing, especially, you know, after being in a job that I, I didn't necessarily love, didn't love the people. Um, so for me, the goals that I accomplished are more than enough. I'm very happy with where I am in the year so far. Uh, I, I don't think I'm gonna do NaNoWriMo, but writing a book was on my list and I'll, I'm, I'm okay with pushing that off to next year. So think about what things you're okay with pushing off to next year and if you're not, you have two months to finish up your list.
playlist, all right? Have a great week, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.